Hi, I'm Phyllis. My website is southernfrugal.com. Today we're going to do another recipe, and this one is from Paula Warner, and I'm going to read it to you. So she said, I have a unique recipe for shepherd's pie cooked in a sugar pumpkin. I don't have measurements. So the directions are to slice the top off of a sugar pumpkin, scoop out the filling, save the top, rub butter and brown sugar inside the pumpkin, prepare hamburger, add a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice or cinnamon and clove. And that's what I'm gonna do because I don't have pumpkin pie uh, spices. Prepare mashed potatoes to your taste, place cooked hamburger inside the pumpkin, then potatoes and then put the top back on the pumpkin cook for an hour and a half at 350 degree, in a 350 degree oven. When you scoop out the shepherd's pie, you're getting that pumpkin too. It's so good. So we're going to give it a try. Now we've already had our main meal of the day, but I just really wanted to try this. So here we go. All right, so I've cooked a pound of, uh, this is organic lean grass-fed beef. And I've got about four tablespoons of butter, and I think that's about three tablespoons of dark brown sugar. So the first thing we're going to do, and I've got my gloves on, and by the way, it took me forever to clean out that pumpkin. I think it'd be much easier to clean out a big one than a little one like this. So I've got the lid for it, and what I did is I just put a ink mark down there right down there between the lid and the top just to make sure I would get it back on the same way because obviously like that it doesn't even fit. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is put this butter and brown sugar inside there. All right, I might have too much, I just don't know. But she said to smear it all on the inside. So that's what I'm doing. See, it's kind of hard to get your hand in these small ones now. That when I uh, purchased this pumpkin, it said pie pumpkin on it. So I'm pretty sure that's the same thing as a sugar pumpkin. It, I, hopefully it is. Anyway, I'm just smearing that all in there. I did need about that much to cover it. All right, I'm just going to use my same glove. Let me wipe it off, though. Wipe that sugar off of it. So I did not put the uh, spice, the cinnamon, or the uh, cloves in the hamburger while it was being cooked. I just thought I would wait. So. What we're going to do is put some ground clove in there. Now she said a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice or cinnamon and clove. So I'm just going to put some of that in. And then I'm going to put some of the cinnamon in. So my guess is that's probably about a teaspoon. Now this uh, hamburger didn't have much fat in it, so I hope that part is okay. I'm rubbing up some of the brown off the bottom of the pan, because of course that's where that good taste is always located. All right, so we're just going to put it in. forget that y'all can't see very well there. I don't know why it's so dark in here. I don't have a light bulb burned out or anything. But of course it is about 6.30 at night. So we're going to cook this. I've already got my oven preheated to uh, 350 degrees. So this thing's not going to be done until a little past, well, actually a little past 8 o'clock. But we will taste of it tonight. Get all of that out of there. All right, so I'm just going to mash that down some. 
and that was a pound of hamburger. I didn't think to put any salt in it, and she didn't say anything about salt. But I do think it's going to need some salt, so I'm going to use about maybe half a teaspoon, not even half a teaspoon, in that meat. Let me mix that up, because I'm sure you need salt in there too. Mix that all in there. All right, now we're going to mash it down. And I've got some uh, cream potatoes that I made earlier. And so I'm just going to use my hand. I had them in the refrigerator because I fixed them much earlier. And just mash that down over the top of it. See that? Got it in there. Mashing it down. And of course I did have seasoning in the uh, cream potatoes, butter and some uh, half and half. Alright, let's see if I can wipe my hands off a little bit again. Wipe that sugar off the outside of it. That's all you have to do. And she said, just put the lid back on. Right. Of course, it's not airtight, which I think you wouldn't want it airtight anyway. And I did put it in a pie pan, and I've got it lined with some um, aluminum foil. All right, y'all. We will see y'all back in about an hour and a half. This is going to be interesting. Alright y'all, we just took this out of the oven and here's what it looks like. Hold it up. Yeah. So we're going to have to give this a try tonight, even though we don't normally eat anything this late. We're going to make an exception. Alright. Smells very interesting. So, in her... Um, recipe she said uh, she mentioned scoop out the shepherd's pie you're also getting pumpkin so I'm guessing I'm going to use a big spoon for this I don't know is that spoon too big I don't know we'll try it all right it's really hot There's the pumpkin right there. All right, I'm going to try it first, and then I will dish out some for Mr. Bucky. All right, y'all. Here goes. This thing looks mighty dark in here. I don't know quite what's wrong here. But anyway, we're going to try it. It's very hot. It's good. It's really different, very different. Get some of those potatoes. Oh, hot. There's what it looks like. I would say it's very good. It's also very interesting. My hamburger didn't hold together very well. But anyway, let me dip out some. I think you have to scrape up on the side of the little pumpkin to get it to get pumpkin out too. So very hot. 
Now, there you go. Like that. Give that to Mr. Becky. I'm going to get me some more pumpkin with mine. Let's give this a taste again. Of course, the inside kind of looks like, uh, what do you call those, spaghetti squash almost? That's what it reminds me of, the way it looks. It's definitely savory. It's certainly not sweet. Mm. It's good. In fact, I've decided it's very good. I should have put more salt in it, I think, though. Mm -hmm. Now, when you get it all together with the pumpkin and the meat and the potatoes, it's really good when you get them all together. All right, y'all. It's 8.30 Saturday night, so I'm going to go ahead and post this tonight. So... Anyway, and I'm sorry it looks so dark in here. Anyway, we will see y'all next time. Bye for now. This is a good recipe, and it's also very interesting. Bye for now. All right, I thought I would let uh, Mr. Bucky taste that and tell me what he thinks. We're watching a movie tonight, the 1517 to Paris. So we paused that so we could try this. Go ahead, okay. Mr. Bucky. <laughs> there's a dog over there, and there's a dog right there. They were both asleep. This is interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. I think I should have put a little more salt in it, maybe. You get the full effect when you have the potatoes, the meat, and the uh, pumpkin there. Mm Yeah, that pumpkin looks like spaghetti squash almost. Yeah. Good. Yeah. But you can taste that pumpkin, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What do you think? It's good. It's, yeah. it's different. It is different. Yeah, real different. Yeah. And so that uh, hamburger's got cinnamon and um, cl cloves, ground cloves in it. I thought that was it. It definitely changes the taste of the meat, but I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you must who you're going to eat it all, right? You got some tea or lemonade over there? Oh, yeah. Do you? Yeah. All right, y'all. I wanted Mr. Bucket to It's It's just very interesting. That's right. That's a good word for it. Yeah, but I do think it's good. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. All right, y'all, for sure. We'll see y'all next time. Bye for now. we got to finish watching our movie. Hey, y'all, I wanted to come back real quick, and uh, sorry about the light in here. I'm getting ready to load this video, and I wanted to tell you, uh, Mr. Bucky ate the rest of his, and I ate the rest of mine, and what happens is it really grows on you as you're eating it. It's like an unfamiliar uh, taste, and uh, but then after three or four bites, you're like, Hmm, this is really good. So uh, it's Saturday night, and uh, we are going to finish watching that movie. And of course, we got church tomorrow, so uh, we'll probably have this uh, tomorrow afternoon. The rest of it, uh, the pumpkin, of course, is small, but uh, when you scrape it out, you need to get plenty of that pumpkin. It'll come off the side, and just scrape your spoon up the side and get plenty of that pumpkin. So you got pumpkin and then the hamburger and then the uh, cream potatoes. It's just really good, y'all. All right, for sure. We'll see y'all next time. I'm going to load this video.